Okay, I'm going to talk about this spread right now and what I've done to it. Um, the last time you saw the video, I had stamped the black circle effect here. I've drawn the line that was there and the red line there. In between that time, I have used my corrugated and my little sponge and sponged on black. And I stamped at each one of these sections like that. Then what I did is I took my um, ink tents and I used my green because I'm reintroducing the colors that I've been using through the whole um, art journal. And so I put on here and I just kind of added the color around on this side. And then I have this um, fun, um, you just keep it in the water and it works great for these kind of um, pens. Um, not pens, pencils that are water soluble. And then you can add the water to it and it can spread that color around. So I was able to do that and blend that into the surface. Then after that, then I have this going through the whole journal. So this is just a theme, not that you have to do this with your journal, but a theme going through using this tape. So I folded this and I'll just share right now. I folded this in half and then I didn't want it as big and I wanted a rough edge. So then what I did is I took this, let's see which way would be better, and I just tore it like that. Okay, and then I ended up with all of this that I might use in another section. So I put that off to the side and then I used my um, gel medium and I glued it to this whole edge. Now this page, this spread, allows me to work through it on this one side. So I was able to glue that. Then what I did is to reintroduce this blue that I have going on through there. I just used this small palette knife and I smeared that on and scribed into it. Okay. And so now um, everything is kind of repetitive in here and it creates this you know, this movement, you know, everything's the same, everything the same and going through there. So um, at this point right now, I want to show you what I'm doing. Um, these thoughts just kind of come to me as I'm working on this. So I'm just going to kind of move this off to the side. What happens is everything kind of cringes around the journal as I keep working with it. But I'm going to take, I have this thread and I have this thicker, um, what is it called? extra strong and it's upholstery thread. It's nylon. Um, so it's a little thicker than your regular thread, but you could use whatever. Um, and I'm going to sew into the paper. So you can see I'm creating this little stitch on this side here. And then I'm pulling it through and I'm going to make a knot because I want the, the, the thread to hang. Then I'm going to make another knot and I'm not so, it's not so important to me to make sure this is super tight, but I want my knot to be tight. So I pull it into there. I don't pull it in as tight around here because that paper could tear on there. And then I just cut this off. So I've got two up here. I've got a few down there and I'm going to do this one more time. And I'm just catching that. Um, the reasoning behind it, mm, I'm doing something different to each one of these um, journal pages in this one sheet journal. It pushes me creatively to do something different. Okay, and what can I do? So, whoops, I'm getting a little short here. I think I need to get some more thread and I will do that and we'll see where. I've got one, two more to go and we'll see where this goes afterwards. Okay. Okay, I have this all sewn in here. And you can see on the back side, you can see the little stitches that are there. And now I'm going to reintroduce this tool again. This is the feather tool that I used at the very beginning. Um, what I'm going to do now is just take some of my acrylics right here and I'm going to add some water to it. So I'm going to water it down. Okay, because I want it to flow kind of like the in India inks. Okay, and then I'm dip just dipping my, my end of my feather here. Okay, and now I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen. Um, this is, uh, 
And so I'm going to introduce this again there. Okay. And down at the bottom here. A little bit more there. Okay. Now I can add some splatters in there. And this is really hard with this feather tool. It, great, it creates um, great splatter, but it also creates it way over here too. So you've got to be aware of what you're doing. Okay. So now I can't do anything with that. So I'm just going to put my feather tool, rinse it off in the water. Eventually these tools don't last forever, um, as you can see. But I rinsed off the acrylic as much as I can. Pretty much they get kind of full at the end there and get dried up and so you lose the ability to be flexible with them. So right now I'm just going to let that sit and dry and that is a spread. Um, not everything is the same, but it, there's something that, you know, is happening here. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to trust it and then I'm going to see what I can do next. Before I go away here and let this dry, I threw in a little bit of yellow into that red that's kind of watered down. As you can see, I have my reinforcement holes here that I've been bringing through. So I painted that with this orange to bring that in there. Um, again, just reintroducing the colors in a different way. I've not done orange with these. Um, so, and then if you have any leftover paint like this, it's kind of cool to kind of utilize that. Like I had a deli sheet and I had color, so then I can bring that back in um, or use it in other collage paper. So that's what I'm going to do with this over here is just kind of coat that with um, on a sheet of paper. I'll move this out of the way because it's got to dry. So we'll set this over. And this, we'll move that out of the way for a second. There's my needle. All of a sudden, I'm taking in, closing in on myself here. And instead of letting this go to waste, I'm just going to bring this to the surface and um, create a solid color of paper. If I don't use it here, I can use it in another um, collage. But, you know, our art supplies are, are, are expensive. And so if we can get and stretch them out as best we can, that's wonderful. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to let this sit and dry. <clears throat> and we'll see where we go.